Today I'm going to show you a new feature that we've built at CoderPad called the AI Chat tab. It basically gives access to ChatGPT within the pad environment itself. So a few use cases that we see this being used for is the candidate being able to use this in a technical interview. So instead of going to somewhere like Google or Stack Overflow to help debug things, what they're actually going to be able to do is literally click on this AI chat tab here and ask ChatGPT whatever they want during the, during the interview. So you see here we give some example prompts like what is the syntax for a certain language? How do I write a Go routine in Go? So they can pretty much ask any type of coding question or any question at all, to be honest. Um, and that will hopefully help them during the interview. The reason why we think this is great for interviewers is oftentimes candidates will use outside sources to kind of help them get through the interview. So again, coming back to like helping them with syntax, helping them with methods that are available, functions that are available. And we think this allows the interviewers to gain insight into what the candidate is thinking, what they're asking the AI uh, to, to get them unstuck basically. So instead of that use case of during an interview, I'm actually going to show you another use case and give you a quick demo of the AI chat tab itself. So another use case that we see being super helpful in the pad is we think it will help interviewers set up questions efficiently and very, very quickly. So in this case, I'm just going to give myself a task of creating a front end interview pad that will be used by uh, my company to hire front end engineers. So what I'm actually going to do really quickly is add in React as a language into the pad. I'm going to quickly remove this Ruby tab. And what I want the candidate to do is basically create a component that has a title, a paragraph, and a status section. But I do want to give them starter code just to get started. And I want to put instructions somewhere within that component so that the candidate can have text on the screen that helps them kind of work through the task at hand. But first, I'm going to come over to the AI chat tab and I'm literally going to say, hey, can you create me a starter React component that has a title, paragraph, and a status section? So you see here, ChatGPT loads instantly and it's outputting what a starter React component with a title, paragraph, and status section would look like. So this is great. What I can actually do is we built this handy little functionality in here where you can literally copy the code. And what I'm going to do really quickly is just create a status component over here. And I can paste that code in. So all is well. I mean, the component looks good. It's definitely a React component. What I'm not happy with is there's certain other features of React that I wanted included in here. So in TypeScript, I wanted there to be some type of interface. I wanted these sections to be passed in as props. So what I can actually do is come back to the AI chat tab itself and say, hey, this is great, but I really wanted to have an interface and also the title, paragraph, and status section to be passed in as props. So voila, ChatGPT is loading again. And great, I already see that it's building exactly what I wanted. So you see it's created the interface at the very top, and it's also passed in these sections as props itself. You'll see it's giving descriptions of the code and things like that, and this is exactly what we wanted uh, the candidate to do. So what I will do is actually copy this code again and literally paste it into the the uh, coding editor itself. So what I'm going to do now is really quickly write some instructions for the candidate. Hey candidate, please write the HTML that renders from his component. It should have a title, paragraph, and status section. Cool. So actually, I noticed one thing. It did spit out the react.react .react node. I'm actually just going to change this to a string as well. 
Oh. Cool, so that's part one, task one. So what I'm actually gonna do is, I want the candidate to actually build this out themselves. So I'm gonna actually remove this part here. Task two is gonna be great. Or uh, I'll say, now build out the interface that defines the props within this component. So what I'm actually gonna do now is remove this interface. I'm gonna remove the reference to the props. And I'm actually going to get rid of passing in the props. So you see here, this is exactly the starter code I want it to begin with and what I want the candidate to begin with. And I basically build it in a couple minutes using the AI chat tab and chat GPT. So we really think this will save interviewers time setting up questions. But again, this is going to be super valuable during interviews for both candidates and interviewers. This feature itself is currently in beta. If you would like to sign up, if you go to coderpad.io slash chatgpt, you'll be able to sign up for our waiting list. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us at support at coderpad.io and just reference the AI chat tab. Thanks.